So you may remember last year Microsoft announced the Xbox Game Pass where for $10 a month you can pretty much play as many games as your heart desires. It's kind of like the Netflix for gaming. Now Sony does have a competitor to Xbox Game Pass that is PS Now, but PS Now is not exactly the same thing as Xbox Game Pass because on PS Now when you're actually using PS Now you're actually streaming the games over the internet to your PlayStation and that's not good because you're going to see lag no matter what. It doesn't matter how good your internet is. When you're using PS Now, you're going to see some kind of lag. And if your internet's even worse, then you're going to even see more lag. So the best experience is going to be Xbox Game Pass because when you're actually using Xbox Game Pass, you're actually playing those games on your Xbox itself. You download those games to your Xbox and then you can play them. And the nice thing about Xbox Game Pass as well is if your internet ever goes out and you already have the game downloaded that month, you can keep on playing that game and you don't have to worry about your internet ever going out for that month. You're still covered with Xbox Game Pass. So as you can see, Xbox Game Pass is clearly the better service because you're not streaming them to your hardware. You're actually playing them off the hardware that's sitting right in front of you, which is really nice. Now, Microsoft has announced that Xbox Game Pass is getting a whole lot better. Any games that are Microsoft Studio produced games, so first party titles, are going to be available on day one on Xbox Game Pass if you subscribe to Xbox Game Pass. So for instance, Halo, Gears of War, uh, Forza, uh, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves comes out March 20th, and if you are a uh, Xbox Game Pass subscriber, you are going to be able to play that on day one. Alongside them actually putting a Microsoft Studio uh, first-party titles on Xbox Game Pass, they're also going to start start selling Xbox Game Pass cards, kind of like those Xbox Live cards you see in local stores where you can pay for a card and you can then type it into your Xbox and you get Xbox Live. Well, they're going to start selling these Xbox Game Pass cards at local retailers for six months, so that's going to be six, roughly $60. Sure, you're not saving any discount when you're actually buying those cards. You, you still will be able to buy them at local retailer just in case you may be worried about your credit card being hacked and things like that if you're a person that doesn't want to buy, uh, buy these through the internet or if you want to give Xbox Game Pass, say, as like a gift to somebody, you can buy those cards at your local retailer and then give Xbox Game Pass as an actual gift to somebody. And honestly, I think this is the right step for uh, Microsoft to actually do this with Xbox Game Pass because, as you know, Microsoft doesn't really have a lot of first party titles compared to Sony and as you know Sony is winning the battle right now when it comes to game consoles so they're trying to do something a little bit different uh, to mix up things to get people to go over to the Xbox will this be enough I honestly don't think this will be enough for Microsoft at the very moment but it is a step in the right direction and it's very good considering that we're getting a lot of first party titles it's very amazing how if you own Xbox Game Pass you can play these first party titles on day one you don't you don't have to go anywhere else you don't have to step out of your house you don't have to go to the local local store or anything like that and that kind of shows what kind of future that the gaming industry is headed towards the gaming industry is kind of headed towards digital distribution because do you really want to go to the store especially when it's snowing icy or it's hot or maybe you don't have gasoline that day and you're broke or something like that it's very nice that you can just sit down at your uh, console download a game to your console and then start playing it sure there's a lot of drawbacks with digital distribution for instance with digital distribution you may have a data cap on your internet, maybe your internet is slow, and there's also of course benefits with physical uh, copies of games. If you're buying games physically, there's also an uh, upside to that. You get to, you get to uh, own the game, you can resell it if you don't ever like, if you're done playing the game. You can also let someone borrow your game, for instance, maybe a family member or a friend if they want to try out your game. Whereas, of course, if you own digital distribution, how can you really loan your game to a family member or to a friend if you want them to play. It's pretty much stuck on your system. So overall, I think this is the right move for Microsoft. And this is very exciting news. Considering uh, Xbox Game Pass is only $10 a month, I think you can't beat Xbox Game Pass for just $10 a month. Considering now you're just going to be getting Microsoft uh, first party titles when they release on the uh, Xbox. Anyway guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News, signing out.